Our next candidate for Solicitor General is the incumbent, Mr. Justin Cabral. Thank you, everyone. I'm Justin Cabral, and it's been my honor to serve as your Solicitor General for the past four and a half years. And we're proud of the work that we have done during that time. I can tell you that my 12 years' experience as a prosecutor has certainly served me well in one of the busiest courts in, in, in the state. And because of that, we've worked hard with the courts to make sure we are as efficient and effective as possible. There's been a lot of new changes in state courts the last four and a half years. There's been a second judge. We've expanded the court's calendar. Within our office, we have updated a lot of our practices and procedures. We've modernized our equipment. We've implemented a case management system as well as an employee office handbook. All of this is so that we can effectively and efficiently deal with these cases as quick as possible. Because as soon, the sooner a case comes to court, the sooner someone needs to be held accountable for the wrongs they've done, the sooner someone can get help for the help they need, the sooner that someone that doesn't belong in jail is going home. All of which leads is better for the taxpayer and a safer way of accounting. Now, because I am a career prosecutor, my, my concern, biggest concern will always be public safety and victims. That's why I'm proud we have tripled the number of victim advocates in our office. We've expanded our services. We've uh, given greater access to the state's uh, victim compensation fund. We started a first in the state early notification system so that we are uh, notified and providing services a lot quicker than we have before. We're not offering therapeutic services for our victims. There's a courthouse dog that helps children and other victims overcome their fear of going to the courthouse. And we've partnered with the Family Works Program at VSU to provide free counseling for our victims. Now, even though victims and public safety will always be my first priority, I also understand the, the effects the criminal justice system can have on a person. I served under Governor's uh, Special Counsel for Criminal Justice Reform. I'm happy to say that a lot of the recommendations of ideas we have implemented here locally. We started a pre-trial diversion program that helps first-time offenders avoid a conviction, avoid going to court and, 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 and if, they, if they are successful. We've had a 90% success rate with that. We're going to start a, a, a traffic violations bureau that's going to decriminalize a lot of your minor traffic citations. So you're not giving a record, you're not going to jail, you're not being put on probation for a speeding ticket or a seatbelt violation. And we're really excited about a DUI accountability court that we're going to get started in January. This is going to help first-time offenders minimize their jail times if they finally do what they need, which is get counseling and rehabilitation. Of course, being solicitor doesn't end the courthouse. I have to manage an office, motivate and discipline uh, a workforce. We have two budgets we oversee. We oversee three federal grants. And finally, obviously, when you're, when you're solicitor, you're also a public servant. Now, my wife, Christine, and I are proud to serve and support and be part of a lot of the same civic and charitable organizations that you do. I'm president of the uh, Lassie Kiwanis Club, the Brooklyn North Neighborhood Association. I'm a proud uh, graduate of the 2015 Class of Leadership Lounge. I've served on the Valos, Greater Valos, uh, prom, uh, United Way Prom Award, and just last month I was honored to serve in the uh, CAC Celebrity Waiter event, benefiting the Children's Advocacy Center. And of course, uh, my wife, Christine, and I are longtime parishioners of St. John's, where we attend last weekly with our, our new seven week old son, Rocco, where we also are part of numerous ministries and organizations. So it is certainly my hope that with my proven leadership, my proven, proven experience, and proven accomplishments, will give me the opportunity to continue the work that we have started. Let's keep Lambs County moving forward. Keep forward. Keep Cabral. Thank you.